Hey guys, it's your favorite art teacher, Miss Julie. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope your family is well. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy at home. Um, I am trying to stay busy. I hope you are too. I've been doing a lot of cleaning and a lot of planning in hopes that we'll see each other soon. Um, but besides that, I have been doing some arts and crafts things. Um, and I'd love to share them with you. So if you want to do this, you are welcome to. Or if you just want to watch me make a mess, you can do that too. Uh, but today we're going to do some bubble painting. I know some of you have done this with me before. Um, so here are a couple things that you can do with bubble painting. If you haven't done it, welcome aboard. Okay, so to get started, um, you want a couple bowls, um, which is with a little bit of water. You don't need a lot. Um, you will need food coloring. Um, you can use paint if you want, um, but I don't have a lot of paint, so I'm going to use food coloring today. Um, always have paper towels on hand. I am accident prone, so if you're accident prone like me, have paper towels. Um, and then you want to have some dish soap. Cheap dish soap is totally fine. Uh, but I put mine in a little cup because I don't need a lot. So we are going to get started and don't forget your straw. So I'm going to put just a little bit of soap in each one. Oops. Try not to make a huge mess. Although you all know me that I make messes just like you guys did in my arm. And the cool thing is you don't need a lot of soap for the water. I'm going to scrape a little more into there. Cool. All right. Let the fun part begin. So I want to show you what some of my bubbles came out to look like. I think this is one of my favorite ones. Um, with food coloring, it seems it doesn't come out as bright. So I have found a way for it to be a lot more vivid with color. Um, and I will show you that here. So what you'll do is um, I might try some blue. I'm going to do a little bit of blue in here. I'm not going to do a lot. So it doesn't take a lot for food coloring. And then I'm going to do, I'll do some red in here. Um, and then maybe green. I'll do green. Why not? So put some green in there. A couple drops. So I'm going to mix that just a touch. I will show you what I mean when it comes out a little light. So we are going to use our straw and we are going to start with the blue. So I'm going to make some bubbles. Don't inhale. Soap does not taste good. Do not inhale. Okay? If you get it really bubbly, like a lot of bubbles, a lot of it will stay up instead of popping so fast. So do you see how it's really light? Um, so... So if you look really closely, the bubbles are a little too light for me and my taste. And I will show you why. Um, a lot of the food coloring tends to stay at the bottom. So if you look closely, that's like very, very lightly blue. So I'm going to show you how to make it very bright and vibrant blue. So you're going to blow a lot of bubbles. And then because I want blue, oops, careful where you throw your straw. Um, I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to put it up top. This is like oddly satisfying right here. It looks really cool to me how it goes throughout the bubbles. Slowly. 
All right, so I try to get a couple drops here and there. FYI, I might go over the bowl, so just be cautious. That's why we have paper towels, right? So I'm going to get this pretty blue. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my paper. Move my spoon. And I'm going to just lay it right on there. So I'm going to make a big blue spot. So I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to roll quite a bit on there. Maybe a little more. There's a couple bubbles left, so I'm going to use those. All right. So it does leave a really cool texture to it. And then once those small bubbles move, um, if you use the bigger bubbles, they definitely make bigger spots for sure. Ooh, that looks really cool. All right. I'm going to lay my paper aside. I'm going to go ahead and do other colors because I want to mix the colors on mine. Mm -hmm. okay. So... Okay, that looks really cool to me. So I'm gonna grab my paper. I'm gonna add some right in here. Oh, you know what? I mixed my yellow and red, so whichever color you prefer. And I'm gonna set it right on top. Now, because the yellow is a little lighter, um, it'll come out a little funnier. A lot lighter than the blue, for sure. Um, I'll add some red in there later. Now, let's do some green. Oops. And make it more funnier. It's like making a bubble brain. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna add some green to that. Again, if you're easily amused as I am, the bubble putting this on the bubbles it looks really cool. It's like you, you could see the different separation between each bubble when you put the food coloring on it. All right, we're going to add some green. I'm going to add some right here in this corner. I'm going to kind of overlap the yellow. All right, let me see how this... Ooh, yep, that turned out really cool. I'm going to put a little bit more green right here. Oh, yeah, that'll be cool. Eventually, when a lot of this pops, some, some of it might still be on there. You just pop it yourself if you want. You can do that. All right. So even though I have yellow in here mixed with red, I'm going to go ahead and make bubbles on top and just add red to it. It might come orange or very dark red. some red right in this little blank spot. Okay. 
can see. Ooh, that came out cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let this one dry. Um, and then I'm going to clean up my mess. All right, so um, as you can see, the colors come out a lot brighter when you put the food coloring on top of the bubbles. Um, if you're using like acrylic paint or tempera, um, you don't necessarily have to put it on top. It works when it's in the liquid already. Um, if you don't have paint, food coloring is your other option. I wanted to show you there are other things you can do with the bubble painting besides just putting it on one paper and making it an abstract art piece. Um, so earlier this morning, I did a fish with some cool bubbles that I cut out, and then I made a cute tulip looking flower, although you can make your own. There's a lot that you can make with this that is entirely up to you. You can cut it out, make a collage, you can make the abstract piece that I did just now. You are welcome to do whatever you wish with it. Um, I hope you had fun or had fun watching me make a mess that I have to clean up in a couple seconds. Um, there will be more videos. There's going to be more art with homemade clay, homemade paint with things like um, sprinkles. I know it sounds weird, but they will be coming up soon. I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, and I will talk to you later. Bye.